Now, our GMA cover story, Julie Chen Moonves, taking us on her spiritual journey. It's in her new audio memoir, But First God. She sat down with Juju Chang to talk about finding God after allegations against her husband changed everything for her. Good morning, Juju. Hey, good morning, Robin. You know, Julie Chen never used her married name professionally until her husband, Les Moonves, was rocked by scandal. That's when she started signing off on Big Brother as Julie Chen Moonves. Now she's talking candidly about how she found faith after crisis. Oh, wow. Oh, I love the bamboo, too. Do you feel like when you pray, you feel like you're talking to God? Yes, but I, what I love is I do not need to come to a church or sit before a cross to pray. It's a side of Julie Chen Moonves you've never seen before. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for allowing us to live this day, come together. The Emmy Award-winning journalist and TV host opening up in a new audio memoir, but first, God, about the spiritual journey she says she's been on after her life turned upside down in 2018. Who was Julie Chen before she found God, and who is she today? Julie Chen before she found God was a self-absorbed, um, career-minded, vain, gossipy, fun to be with, but probably kind of a shallow person. <laughs> Julie Chen Moonves, who now knows the Lord, is someone who wants to help others, who wants to look at everyone with a soft heart. Five years ago, she was flying high in her career, hosting two hit shows on CBS. Welcome to Big Brother. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the talk. That's when her husband, Les Moonves, then chairman and CEO of the network, stepped down, accused of sexual misconduct by more than a dozen women, allegations he denies. Days later, Chen Moonves leaving the talk, a show she'd moderated for nearly a decade. But right now, I need to spend more time at home with my husband and our young son. So I've decided to leave the talk. You say in the book quite clearly, leaving the talk was a decision made for you. Yeah, I never revealed that until But First God. That was a hard time. I felt stabbed in the back. I was, you know. But you've reconciled. Yes, and I don't know if I could have reconciled if I didn't have God in my life. A lot of people give you a lot of credit for your faith and for your faithfulness to your husband. But did you ever ask him if these allegations are true. That's not what we're here to talk about. But of course, yeah, I know my husband. You know, I know my husband. You also said in the book that one of the hardest parts of your family crisis was having to tell your son. Yeah. I mean, there was some pretty graphic accounts. What did you tell him? I told him there were reports that were false about our family and that um, I kept it simple. I said, so if you ever hear anything or you read anything, you come to us first. Um, you know this family, you know who we are, and don't let anyone shake that. There are two words that are not in the book, and that is Me Too. Your husband left CBS at the height of the Me Too movement. What do you think of the movement and this idea of believe her? Well, I think that's getting off track from but first God. Um, I think people, we all go through hard times in this world, in our life, and mine are not over just because I found Christ. I think we need to keep our focus on him. Chen Moonves now says she's focusing on faith and family. But what does but first God mean now? But first God means God before anything and everything. What I hope people get is what I got out of starting a personal relationship with God. And I want everyone to have that because once I started that, I found peace. But most of all, I found um, hope. And of course, that message of hope is what Chen Moonves says she wants to share. Now, we reached out to CBS for comment, but they have not responded. Julie's audio memoir, But First God, is out tomorrow. Well, hey.
Hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.